हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू इजी ट्यूटोरियल बाय नेहा टुडेज टॉपिक इज बीजेटी दैट इज बाइपोलर जंक्शन ट्रांजिस्टर फर्स्टली डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दिस यूट्यूब चैनल एंड काइंडली लेट अस नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ऑन विच टॉपिक यू वांट आर नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो द पॉइंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस वीडियो आर वॉट इज बीजेटी कंस्ट्रक्शन टाइप्स ऑफ बीजेटी मोड्स ऑफ ऑपरेशन applications advantages and disadvantages what is bjt a bipolar junction transistor so before jump on to the main topic on bjt firstly we will understand what is transistor basically transistor is made up of two words it is a combination of two words that is transfer plus resistor if we write it transfer plus register register so uh, in uh, the first point is transferring the signal from low resistance to high resistor and the second one it uh, second one is it regulates the current and voltage so there are two types of resistor if we talk about only resistor there are two types of resistor the first one is unipolar uni polar and the second one is bipolar okay two types of resistor first one is unipolar and the second one is bipolar in unipolar the current flows uh, because of majority charge carrier that is uh, if we take an example that is mosfet or uh, jfet and the second one is uh, bipolar in bipolar the current flows uh, through uh, because of major majority and minority charge carriers and example of uh, bipolar transistor is bjt that is bipolar junction transistor we are going to study in this topic so now we come to our main topic that is bipolar junction transistor a bipolar junction transistor also known as bjt is a three terminal semiconductor device consisting of two pn junction which are able to amplify or magnify a signal this is a image of bjt it is a current control device the three terminals of the bjt are the base collector and emitter A BJT is a type of transistor that uses both electrons and holes as charge carrier. As we have already discussed, that BJT in BJT the current flows through uh, because of majority and minority charge carriers. Construction of BJT. So BJT is a semiconductor device that is constructed with three three doped semiconductor region that is base, collector, and emitter separated by two p-n junctions. bipolar transistor are manufactured in two types there are two types of uh, bjt or uh, uh, bipolar transistor first one is pnp and the second one is npn they are available as separate components usually in large quantities the prime use or function of this type of transistor is to amplify current you can see in pnp transistor the current uh, flow the current direction is towards the base and uh, uh, in npn transistor if you see the direction that is coming out from the base side this makes them useful as uh, switches or amplifiers they have a wide applications in electronic devices like mobile phones television radio transmitter and industrial control types of bjt uh, as we have already uh, studied that there are two types of bipolar junction transistor first one is npn and the second one is uh, pnp the diagram of these two of bipolar junction transistor is given below 
the J E basically in first diagram, if you will see, J is the emitter junction and the J C is the collector junction. Modes of operation: A bipolar transistor can operate in four modes. First one is active mode, second one is saturation mode, third one cutoff mode, and the fourth one is inverse or inverted mode. Basically, the main modes are only three: that is active, saturation, and cutoff. The fourth one is rarely used. Uh, but but it is also included. First one normal mode mode that is also known as active mode. If the emitter junction of an NPN transistor is forward bias, if we'll see that अगर हम एक NPN uh, transistor में if we connect a emitter junction as a forward biased and a collector is reverse biased, then the transistor is operated in the normal mode or you can say in active mode. as shown in the figure if you will see that the collector junction is connected to the uh, basically in uh, reverse bias because the negative side n side is the uh, electron side the negative side is the, uh, is connected to the positive terminal of the battery or the source and the emitter is basically connected to the same polarity basically we can say that forward bias is when you connect the positive side to positive side or negative side to negative side but the reverse bias in reverse bias case we connect to uh, positive side to the negative side the term forward bias means that the poly positive polarity of the bias voltage is connected to the p side and the uh, negative polarity to the n side for a pn junction the opposite obtained for reverse bias most transistor amplifiers are operated in normal mode second one is cutoff mode the cutoff for the cutoff mode if we see that both transistor are reverse biased because the emitter is connected to the positive side and the collector is also connected to the positive side so uh, we can say that n is connected to positive and n is connected to positive the both are in reverse biased mode as a current is cut off and the transistor acts like an open circuit both the cutoff and saturation modes of a transistor are used as switching devices for the off and on states figure shows the cutoff mode bias voltage connection third one is saturation mode in saturation mode uh, the both uh, transistor junctions are connected in forward bias if you see that the negative side because e and c both uh, emitter and collector are having n sides and uh, that are connected to uh, negative terminal of the source or battery so these these uh, they these connections are called forward bias and the transistor is in saturation mode with very low resistance it acts like a short circuit so after studying the all three modes we can now come to the conclusion in a table that we have two junctions first one is emitter based and the second one is collector based in first case when junction was one is in forward biased and junction two is in reverse biased that is active reason in second case when the both junctions are in forward biased that is known as saturation reason on or we can say as on switch it works like an on switch and the when when the first junction is in reverse biased and the also the second junction is also in reverse biased the it is called as cut off reason that works like an off switch and the fourth point is when the junction 1 is in reverse biased and the junction 2 is in forward biased that is known as inverted reason this reason is uh, uh, basically used very rarely applications of bjt as a switch as an amplifier also as a filter and an oscillator so below is a list of other applications of bipolar junction transistor bjt is used as a detector or also known as demodulator bjt finds application in clipping circuits so that the waves can be shaped logic circuits and switching circuits use bjt advantages bjt has a large gain bandwidth it shows better performance at high frequency and a better voltage gain 
it can be operated in low and high power application it has a high current density there is a low forward voltage drop disadvantages bjt is more an effect of radiation it has very complex base control so it may lead to confusion and require skillful handling the switching frequency of bjt is low it more uh, it produces more noise it has a low thermal stability